Hi everyone, welcome back to Cunning with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So, welcome to the Scavenger Hunt Tag, which is round four of the Summer Edition. So, I was tagged by the lovely Lily from Art Journey UK to take part in this Summer Edition. And the original tag was created by Danny Buttons. So, thank you to Danny for creating the tag and for Lily for tagging me. So, um, I was hoping to do a tag soon, so I was quite fortunate that I was tagged. Now, I'm going to start off with so the things that I need to find. There's only 10 things to find and then a bonus item. So, the first item is um, a picture of the sun. Not that I'd call a sun an item, it's quite more than like, it's just very special, isn't it? So anyway, this is a picture I chose and I chose it from The Circle of Life by Mel Panini, Mel Panini Chatsipana G2. And um, I chose this sun and I think this sun is rather special because it's got a lovely scene and in fact, um, it's probably one that I want to do soon anyway, like for summer, because we are in summer now, I guess. So this would be a beautiful picture to do. So yeah, that's my son in a circle of um, life. Then the next thing to find is a picture of an umbrella. So then I have this book by the lovely Rita Berman again. And this is a compilation of the seasons book. Um, and I chose this page here um, so actually um, this picture here could go for it as well because you've got lots of umbrellas there so um, and they're just lovely yeah so I thought this was really good I think Rita Berman's books in particular um, have quite a lot of the summer sort of um, items to find and objects uh, so yeah umbrellas and then a picture, number three, is a picture of a lighthouse. So I chose this book, um, and I know that I've got a lighthouse in this one because I coloured it. So this is um, Colour It Blissful Scenes, and the one, I think I have tagged it, haven't I? Yeah, I have tagged it. There we go. I'm just going to take the tags out as well while I'm here. So yeah, this is a picture of... Um, a lighthouse that I coloured so this one was done mainly in um, you can see from the back there alcohol markers but as usual I use a lot of other media because that's just what I do uh, it's just fun to use lots of different things anyway so I use mainly alcohol markers as gel pens as metallic clear or fine tech paint um, gel pen, loose glitter, etc. So yeah, that's my lighthouse um, picture. I do like the um, Colour It books. Colour It colouring books. Right, number four is a picture of lemonade or uh, citrus slices. So then I picked a very nice colouring book and this is one that I should colour in as well. These tags um, for scavenger hunt are actually quite good because they, uh, sorry about that, um, they're really quite good in, um, you know, getting looking at books or pictures that uh, you might want to colour in next, especially because this is a summertime book. So I found this one, Pink Lemonade Pucker, and uh, there's the little slices of... Um, some sort of citrus fruit I guess and they just look so cute and you can see his because <laughs> it's sour the look on his face so yeah a very nice colouring book um, number five is a picture of ice cream now so again here I have picked um, one of my favourite artist books which is uh, A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo so this is a I chose a mixture for this tag I tried to choose a mixture of coloured and un uncoloured pictures rather than just you know all uncoloured pictures um, just to sort of mix it up a bit so here's my ice cream I think that will count okay for it um, and I've got 
glossy accents on their range. You can see the shiny, shiny image there. I think I put glossy accents on the chocolate sauce as well, but yeah, that's the one. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Million sloths for the ice cream. Number six is a picture of a surfboard. Now, this was so hard to do. I just could not uh, find a surfboard. I looked through so many books. I even looked through the mythographic books because I thought it might be one of the, you know, the hidden objects. And there was, you know, I didn't find one. There probably is a surfboard in there, but I didn't come across it. So then finally, I looked in Rainforest Escape by Jade Gideon. And um, this is another book that I need to colour in because I haven't coloured in it for so long. And it's got beautiful paper. I have done some pictures in it, like I went through a phase where I was so into hummingbirds and uh, yeah, what colour background on this and, and then the hummingbirds with uh, watercolour metallics and um, yeah, I did this front um, nameplate page as well. So here it is, this is a surfboard, I think it is, so yeah. Um, that's my surfboard in Rainforest Escape and then number seven is a picture of a whale now colour morphia um, I think this is a compilation so you will find it in one of his other books I think it might be the actually I can't remember which book it might be in but um, one of Kirby's earlier books and then yes I think that this is the hump whale I really do like how I've coloured this picture I mean I did it a while back have I written a date I don't even think I've written a date because it was which means it's probably before 2020 because I only started dating my pages from the start of uh, 2020 um, so I used uh, fine liners gel pens neo colours all the, the, the great stuff that you know we have to colour with. Um, yeah, so that's my humpback whale, I think it is. If I'm wrong, please forgive me because I often get animals wrong. Um, eight, a picture of seashells. So I actually picked two, I think, for this. So just, um, yeah, two books. So I couldn't decide and I wanted to show them both. So I got a million mermaids. Because I've already used another Lulu Mayo book and I, and I just thought that um, I'd choose another book as well because I've already used one Lulu Mayo book. So this one is A Million Mermaids and it's one that I've coloured. Because I mean that does count as a shell that the lovely mermaid is sleeping in. And then these are shells as well. So you've got an uncoloured version and a coloured version. Um, and yeah, this was one of the... this. I think this was when... Um, I just got some luminance pencils. So this was last year in July. I think I just, I think I bought the luminances for my birthday actually, or my parents bought it for me for my birthday. Um, they gave me the money to purchase them, and um, so I'm very fortunate. Uh, and yeah, and I put confetti on the background there. So I was trying my luminances out on this, and I've got to be honest. I mean, I know this is a, a side by thing, and I'm getting a bit sort of distracted from the question in hand the thing in hand but my luminances I wasn't too impressed with when I first got them and um, I was sort of a little bit disappointed but now in the last month or so I've been using them and I'm really got into them and I'm so glad I didn't sell them or get rid of them because they are really nice pencils and that's what I do sometimes so that's um, Million Mermaids Shell a picture of seashells you've got seashells there and one seashell there that she's sleeping in so yeah i th um i like that I, I don't if i don't like a supply or a book straight away i think that you know i might grow to like it and that often happens so lost ocean is another book artist edition that has got shells in it that i wanted to show you um because this is one that i'm hoping to do one day soon because I can, it's just on really thick cardstock 
because it is the artist edition and I can imagine using pencil, gel pen, paint, all sorts of stuff on here um, and then maybe taking it out and um, framing it so yeah that's a lovely seashell one from Johanna Bassford's book and then we have nearly there now uh, number nine a picture of a cactus so another Lulu Mayo book and there's one that I've coloured this was one of the f if I, in fact I think it was the first picture that I coloured in this um, book when I got it so yeah lots of different cacti here uh, lots of different cacti characters as well so yeah that's one of my favourite pictures actually in, in this book so yeah the pencils work really well in this book so yeah that's that one although watercolour doesn't seem to work too well which is a shame okay next one number 10 is a picture of a sports mascot example Chicago Bears equals a picture of a bear so um, the Leeds United mascot which is a, a town not so far from me um, they have a new mascot which is a snow leopard so what I did is then I found a snow leopard in this beautiful book by Kirby which is Fragile World and I know that Sammy from Colour and Chat with Sammy um, was colouring this when this book first came out I think and she was doing a fab job as usual um, I do want to do this as well one day but when I mean, I've got a bit more confidence and yeah it's going to be I'm, I'm just thinking uh, watercolour so it speeds it up a bit so should I um, pre-prepare the page with um, satin glazing liquid first and then use watercolour which is probably how I'd go with it I have got a page that I want to do in here that is pre-prepared which is this um, it's a Jaguar page so yeah so yeah that's my snow leopard for the mascot and then last but not least is bonus shows your dream pet right well my dream pet and it is a dream pet so um, Botanicum by um, Maria Troll is a beautiful book um, and one of my favourites of hers my dream pet is in here and here it is it's a dragon it's a little baby dragon and just they just look so cute so I'd love to have a baby dragon as a pet um, but of course no pet store will have that for me so I can just imagine so there we go that's my tag now I hope you enjoyed this short little video um, and if you did please hit the like button and until next time take care happy colouring and see you next time bye